Uh, Bruce, that was a great number. You're actually best qualified of all these people here for, um, for being in the restaurant business, That's aren't you? That's right. That is correct. And you were a barman for how long? Years of, uh, years of experience in the food and beverage industry. I was a bartender, waiter, cook. Not a cook. It was a short order cook. Uh, dishwasher. What was your speciality? Did you a die hard drinks. cocktail? Uh, I used to make drinks. I used to invent drinks. I made up a drink called the, uh, the Honey I'm Home. <laughs> that consisted of what? Well, it's, these are secret ingredients, Michael, of course. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> die Hard, the first time I saw the first one, I was on a plane, which would Great uh, place. I'd turn around with engine <laughs> trouble. So thank you very much for a most relaxing hour and a half. In today's Times, the Sunday Times, there's a piece uh, that says about you landing a fee for $13 million up front for Die Hard 3. What is the truth of this? The truth of that article? Mm -hmm. I don't even know if there's any truth in there. You know, are we talking about something that was actually written down? Something yeah, that was in, written in one in, of these papers? in black and white. In fact, oh, this, I think, is a Daily Mail. This is here. Uh, Willis has been offered a guaranteed salary of 13 million pounds, pounds. to star in well, Die Hard 3. Right. Can you lend me about 10 bucks, sir? Is you that know what? What? <laughs> What do you say? Do, uh, does anybody here believe what you read in the newspaper? Do you believe it? <laughs> do you? Just you not. do? No. Come on. No. So it's no. not true? Well, I don't I, I generally, uh, um... <laughs> pay much less than that. I'm just... So I'm not going to ask you two what you think of that 13 million up front. What do you say to that? I think we need his agent. I do. You <laughs> better <laughs> Well, let's have some proof of what you're up to anyway, because the battle of the box office continues with your own contribution. And here's a clip from, from that. Thomas Hardy, a river full of dead bodies. Well. <laughs> Sounds like our own Thames there. Yeah. Uh, another cop. <laughs> what's, what's the appeal about cops? Then? Oh, you do a lot of this. You know, they, they're actually starting to lose their appeal for me. I'm getting sick of carrying guns in movies. Uh, but they're, you know, these are, these are, the, these are the cowboy <laughs> movies. These are the the modern generation of cowboy movies of good guys and bad guys and i guess that has a certain amount of appeal i mean people keep going i just get a little tired of all the guns after a while mm -hmm. now the tradition of uh, action movies with sardonic one-liners which is what you three are specializing in now started with yeah. james bond did you grow That's up right. with, with bond yeah. oh i did yes yeah. i loved the bond movies i think the bond movies uh, really set the the pace for for all the other action movies because it had everything it had i mean i would say the beginning bond movies the later ones were not that yeah. great anymore but i mean the beginning ones uh, of uh, sean connery and also the other one uh, roger uh moore. with kim roger moore and and there was one other character that played uh, as james bond. there was some really good ones but the last two three i didn't like but they had great humor terrific action and always uh, uh, bigger than life things. I mean, it was wonderful. And I think that there's a lot of things that you can copy from that. Yeah, you go along with that slide. Well, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, 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 they're better at it than I am. I mean, I, there's a certain kind of delivery. I think, uh, you know, really, there's, uh, <laughs> I don't deliver the one-liner quite as well. So I try to, to pick and choose a l little bit less. So but two lines now. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, <laughs> that, you know, like, Rambo's not exactly a stand-up comic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever, but I do believe, like you say, you come around in the 90s, when, as, as some of these films, the violent films, the humor diffuses and lets the audience know right away, let's not take this as serious as it is. Mm. It's, it's not intended to be mean-spirited. It's just escapism, but without total roots in reality. Bond, was, well, you all do this, don't you? I mean, Bond shoots somebody with a harpoon and says, he got the point. Things like that. Yes. You like that. Very good reading of James Bond. Thank you. Ever <laughs> I haven't got the cruelty, otherwise I'm perfect. Uh, <laughs> now, the Bond theme, as you're aware, very much aware, is a feature of the London uh, planet Hollywood. And uh, two of your oh, friends yeah. are here before us to give us a special preview, Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Hello, folks. Can you hear us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've oh, interrupted you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, oh, Don. Hello, Melanie. Caught me here at dinner. Wait, wait. Oh. Wipe your face. Honey, Don. Honey. Don. You're dribbling. Oh, sorry. Don, learn sorry. to use a fork, would you? Yeah. Just yeah. a little. What have you got to show us apart from the drool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, uh, I just happen to have a little uh, Walter PPK here that uh, Mr. Bond used in uh, so many of his fine films. Doesn't work. Thank God. <laughs> what else, what, what now, else have we got? We got over here. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. We have.
have some jewels here. We have jewels here that Marilyn Monroe wore and some like it hot. Yeah. Very they nice. were hot, certainly. Are you sure that wasn't the seven year itch? No, no. The seven year itch is right over there. The oh, that's dress. it. Oh, okay. And we got uh, my buddy Sly's uh, motorbike here that he rode in Rocky. Take it for a ride, Don. Uh, by the way, uh, we do have to chat about a golf game. I know about that. <laughs> and um, this is, um, yeah, as you recall, this is Odd Jobs hat. And um, you can see it has the sharp edges on there. It kind of... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. This is Didn't probably leave that a lawsuit camera, coming on. Why don't you do the... the no, no, the no. Yeah. This is... Women's apparel, I think, is right. your area here. Um, that dress seems to be growing out of uh, Arnold's body there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Uh, Whose was that? Um, this was Marilyn Monroe's in the Seven Year Itch. Yeah. This Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> wore in Batman Returns. It's very small. And this is the actual Maltese Falcon. Ah. Right here. Have you scratched it? No, I was being very gentle. Actually, I have a knife here. I thought maybe we'd just uh, <laughs> cut it open here and see what we got going, guys. No, nah, no, nah, just kidding. <laughs> That's a great selection. That? What is the place like down there? Is it impressive? It's great. Fabulous. It's great. It's best. How many people are there apart from you at the moment? Very many and um, very quiet. About 45,000, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I can hear it. How long are you going to be here for? You're here for the party, of course. Uh, well, I'm going to be here long enough to take Sly's money on the course. <laughs> Excellent. And, uh, and, and Denise and, and I are going to go shopping. Oh, my God, Bruce, we're dead. <laughs> They're going shopping. Well, now, thank you both very much. We're going to back to dinner, if you guys don't mind. Yes, please, do carry you're on. You're doing a great job, really. Keep up. <laughs> You're looking star. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Doctor. It's all live television. This show us your left breast, Bruce. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very dedicated to the whole Planet Hollywood, the whole notion of Planet Hollywood. Yeah, I don't ask you anymore. Dedicated, yes. No, uh, Planet Hollywood, as we know, is all about movies, and the reviews in all the papers today are talking about your wife's film, of course, Indecent Proposal, yes. all about the married woman who accepts a million dollars to sleep with another man. Yes. Uh, what did you both think about a woman doing that? Well, as far as the woman doing it, I mean, look, it's just capitalism. It, it, that's a, uh, how I felt about it personally? Yes. It's just capitalism. I had a problem with the guy selling his wife for any price. I mean, that, they have a word for that in our country. It starts with P. Yeah. You may have the same word here. We have that word. <laughs> Somebody said it'd be even more interesting if he'd offered money to sleep with the husband. Yeah. <laughs> Never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. But there has been an uproar it's about it's this film, hasn't there? concept, wasn't it? Yes. I loved it. But there's been a row yes, about it. I mean, people have been yeah. discussing it. Controversial, controversial. Which is a while because then you go home with your wife and then the, the arguments start. What do you think of it? And then you say your opinion and then she says your you opinion and then the fights begin, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, where it fell down it. slightly because the other guy was Robert Redford, which kind of uh, spoiled it. I'll tell you what, shall we do an Oprah Winfrey here and we'll ask the audience about this. Uh, how many of you would go to bed with a total stranger for a million dollars? How many of you would go to bed with our guests here for nothing at all? <laughs> well, <laughs> and I've got £12.50. Got Any offers there? <laughs> Thank you, sir, very much. So, let's fix up the, you three for the rest of your lives here. So, tell us, what, how long are you going to stay on, on this trip? Uh, I'm here for a couple more days, and then I have to go back to work. Yeah. Uh, back on Die Hard 3? No, I'm um, doing a film right now called Color of Night. You never stop, you guys. What, what, what are you off to next? Oh, no. I'm going to the next uh, movie with Jim Cameron that is called True Lies and uh, there will be another five or six months shoot until around uh, December or so. Sly? I'm going to finish up uh, Demolition Man uh, with uh, Joel Silver and a new killer kid named Marco Brambini and then look for something else to do in around October. Yeah. 
13 million up front, eh? That's fantastic. That's a lot of dough, isn't it? <laughs> that's not 13 million dollars, that's 13 million pounds. pounds which is a lot more. At the going exchange rate. Anyway, really. I won't embarrass you further because we've now got a man who must have had a few interesting offers in his time. Brian Ferry's new album is called Taxi, and tomorrow he'll be releasing the second single from it. We'll hear it first. Meanwhile, let me say thanks for your company and uh, more power to your elbow, if that's possible, to Bruce Willis, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Sylvester Stallone.